Turns out, video games are good for you. Suck it, moms. For years, local news anchors have been trying to let us all know about the dangers of video game addiction. The 15-year-old boy has almost died after playing on his Xbox for at least four days straight. They're killing careers, they're killing families, they're killing relationships, they're killing health, and literally now we're having people killing others and themselves over video games. Come on, Janie, we're gonna play some Grand Theft Auto together. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe more like Wii Tennis. <laughs> But what if I told you that video games can actually help addiction? Well, that's what a couple of researchers are setting out to discover. For the past few years, Zach Rosenthal, an assistant professor at Duke, has been strapping his patients struggling with substance abuse problems into a VR simulator in hopes of successfully treating their addiction with controlled environmental testing, or virtual reality cue activity. Once inside the computer program, patients are faced with situations they might encounter in the real world. Situations like being in a crack house, smoking in the bathroom, shooting heroin or being at a party where everyone is drinking and while these situations look unrealistic and almost comical to outsiders these CG vignettes trigger real addiction cravings then the researchers use those triggers and cravings to help the patients overcome their addictions in the real world but virtual reality treatment isn't just for helping with addiction it's being used to treat lazy eyes and what better way to treat a lazy eye with the one game that makes my eyes water during marathon sessions Tetris yes my favorite game of all time can be used to treat Annie's lazy eye. She has a lazy eye. And just like the addiction research project, the lazy eye Tetris experiment also uses a VR helmet. The way it works is once strapped in, the patient will only see the falling blocks with one eye. The other eye would only be able to see the blocks already on the ground in the game. Then patients use both eyes to line the blocks up in a row. If the experiments are successful, it could lead to an alternative treatment for lazy eyes versus the current treatment of patients having to use eye patches. So sorry, pirate enthusiasts, but hey, at least we still have puffy shirts, right? This pirate trend that she's come up with, Jerry, this, this is going to be the new look for the 90s. You're going to be the first pirate. <laughs> well, I don't want to be a pirate. So what do you guys think? Are video games going to help change the face of modern medicine? Let me know down below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I wonder if Cooking Mama could cure obesity because her cooking looks terrible. No one wants to eat that trash.